your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. We're now at a little tiny island just to the, the uh, north west of Wyag. This is called Sayang. Sayang Island, beautiful little spot. Nice shallow water, crystal clear water, white sand. Lovely. Just a bit of wind and chop coming through, which is unfortunate. The swell's supposed to be coming out of the north, so this was supposed to be completely protected, but we've had this sort of gentle eight to ten knot breeze from the south southwest for the last four or five days so it's just been enough to sort of stir this up it's not uncomfortable it's not too bad look at that water though just amazing everywhere you look that's about four meters deep looks like a swimming pool so um yeah we're actually just about to head off we're about to leave um sayang here and cross the helmahira sea for helmahira um, and then we'll shoot around the top end there and into a little town called Tabello. Not a little town, it's fairly substantial, but we're so desperate we need um, food. We uh, unfortunately lost one of our fridges. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but it looks like it might be out of gas or it's got a leak or something, but all the fresh stuff that we bought in Wysai basically perished um, overnight, so we woke up to a pretty foul smell and we'd lost nearly all of our food. So. Um, fortunately for us, we've got a spare fridge, and um, yeah, we've we've put whatever we could save in there. So we're actually running quite low on food now. We were already a little bit low, and then we just sort of lost everything we had. So that's it. it is what it is. Shit happens. I'll find either a refrigeration mechanic up there who can regas it, or I might have to just try and order a new system. I have talked about this actually, so it might be a job for Thailand, but um, we'll see how we go. Yeah, um, catching up with our friends, wild one. We got some new friends here, Tutkum couple of Americans. He's from Montana, she's from California. Cool, cool, cool humans. Awesome travelers. He's basically sailed around the world on that boat. So um, he's got a fair idea what he's doing. He's a cool dude. So yeah, we're gonna sort of buddy boat with them tonight across the helmet here I see. He's nailing the flying fish. Whoa, bang. Oh, I know what's happening. The flying fish is jumping out in front of the boat and this bird's just following us getting a free feed. Oh, sick. You're welcome, mate. No worries. Maybe that's a booby. Alright, oh, he's gonna go again. Boom! Wow! He hits that water so hard. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Usually the sea state's too bloody rough to see anything like that, but that's unreal. Anyway, as I said, we're actually about to pass over an active volcano. Um, not straight over it, I'm just going to pass just to the side because I don't really want volcanic ash and shit going up into the engine. So, it's um, a strange thing, it's not something I ever, I don't know, I'd never even given it any thought. I'd never expected to see that sort of thing on your chart or in the middle of the ocean. I mean, of course they exist there, but you just it's just not something you, you think about when you're um, back home. But uh, Check this out. Volcanic activity. Volcanic ac activity has been reported within an area 35 miles of radius centered on this position. So, I mean, we're actually in that area, but we'll see what happens. So this is a, apparently an active one. Gosong Aurora is an active volcano, or well, semi-active. Not as active as the other one. This one here is um, a no-go zone. Not even allowed anywhere near it. In fact, I think we're actually in a no-go zone, but we're not going to talk about that. So yeah. That's a big active volcano. Apparently that one's just spewing out ash and shit underwater. So we're going to give that one a wide berth. I'm actually sort of on a heading at the moment just to try and get us out of an area that we probably shouldn't be in. Um, it's kind of unavoidable today, unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. Here we are, motoring again. Something different, hey? We, uh, 
pretty much motored the whole way last night. Um, after I last turned the camera off, the wind just stopped and never came back. Um, except for a 25 knot squall that hit us head on at about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, we spent we spent the better part of about four hours trying to dodge storms, just these squalls out in the middle of the ocean. It was a nightmare. I was speeding up, slowing down, turning, and just in the end, one of them just we couldn't avoid it, it smashed us. But fortunately, it wasn't too bad. There's heaps of lightning out there, which makes us nervous. But um, yeah, we got through it. So I did. I know I said I was going to do some updates and shit, but I, I didn't bother last night because it was I mean, just completely uneventful, and all we were doing was motoring and stressing out with storms. Um, we got into a tick, tac, tic tac, whatever it is. Got in there at about um, oh, six o'clock this morning. We actually slowed right down so we could come in at daylight hours. Um, did that, dropped the pick and basically just went to bed and slept for as long as we could. And unfortunately, it was rolling and the wind was just honking out of the south. So we've moved around the top of the headland try and hide from the southerly and as we've come up here it's just a honking westerly so uh, uh, we didn't misjudge it. it it was it wasn't on the forecast at all like it's forecast to be two knots around here two knots in this bay and we've got we've got like 15 knots here at the moment which would be spectacular if it was going the right way but of course, it's on the nose. Everywhere you want to sail in Indonesia, the wind is on the nose. Everywhere you want to go, it doesn't matter. And even if you turn around, it's on the nose. Morning, morning, morning. We're on passage. Sarah's doing some video editing. Brody's spinning a dice and talking about volcanoes. And you're just sitting there looking beautiful right now. <laughs> oh, cool. So we've, uh, we've just left our first little anchorage in uh, Northern Helmahera. And we're heading to Tobelo, um, which is just a, another little city with the plans to reprovision and restock and refuel and all that good stuff. We're actually going to head off north. So if you look at a map north of uh, Halmahera is a little island called Moritai. Bugger this, it's too hot. What do you reckon, Cha Cha? We go for a swim? Yeah. Let's do it. We just stopped the boat. We're in, what does it say? Two and a half thousand meters of water. We're gonna jump in, it's too hot. It is so hot, it's like 36 degrees, no wind, and just scorching. You gonna come in mama duck or what? Yeah. Huh? Chicken shit, yeah. I can shut up with blue needles. We stopped yet? Wanna jump off the front and come back down the middle, baby? Someone's gotta helm the boat. Yeah. Let's do it, quick. Pick you, Wait, crazies up. Like or something out here? There's nothing out here, baby. We haven't even caught a fish. That's creepy as shit. Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. <laughs> How weird. Ready? We're gonna swim straight to the back of the ladder. If we keep the face in neutral, so in the back. Okay. No, I'll get it. Are you ready? Ready to do this? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Two. Three. Go! <laughs> Still alive? Is that scary? Hey, I'll lift the ladder down. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab. We have to jump in one. You nut jobs. It's so So eerie how deep it is, eh? <laughs> Who said shark bait? Ooh ha ha. <laughs> we are in uh, Tobello. How cool is this place? 
Some beautiful big old sailing ships in there, big old Phoenices. These are the local water taxi. Yeah, let's see if we can get them all to wave. <laughs> They're waving. Yeah. Friendly people, hopefully. Hopefully it's just a quick trip in here, just to reprovision, restock and get out. There's the volcano in the background. It's pretty bloody amazing. I think there's a couple more actually. I'm pretty sure that there's one up there too, so I have to go and check that out. Another little taxi boat. I love them. <laughs> Big friendly waves. <laughs> Whoa, look at he's throwing an engine. He just ran over a plastic bag, I reckon. Should have been paying attention, silly bugger. Not waving to me. Oh, well, it's time to find an anchorage. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we don't cock it up. You're nearly good to go, babe. The township of Tobello is located at the base of Mount Jacono Volcano, which often spews ash all over the town and the anchorage. First thing next morning, we went to shore to get our provisions so we could get underway. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. hello. Good, good, good. Very good. My goodness. <laughs> Hey! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love the rain, right? This is our little entourage for shopping. These guys have followed us for about four kilometers so far. And they are just stoked. Yeah! <laughs> he even followed us out to the rickety jetty, which I'm sure isn't built for that many bodies. Stay tuned till next time when we explore the islands around Moratai.